Every time you buy pre-cut chicken at the store, you're paying for the convenience of someone else breaking the bird down for you. If you eat as much chicken as my family, you'll be able to count the savings from doing it yourself. It's like getting the drumstick in the thigh for free. Here's how. I've already prepped and patted down my chicken with a few paper towels to make it easier to handle. And I'm gonna be using a sharp utility knife to break down the chicken. First, I'm gonna loosen the skin between the breast and the thigh. And then pull away the leg. There are all these fat lines on the chicken which tell you where to cut. It makes it really easy. We're not gonna cut too deep. Then I'm gonna reach underneath and pop the joint out. Then cut the thigh away using the rib cage as my guide. Next, I'm gonna remove the wings. Pull the wing away from the chicken and use the knife to expose the joint. And I'm just gonna use a pair of kitchen shears to cut along the curve of the wing. I'm gonna cut off the wing tip and save it for the next time I make chicken stock. Since it's mostly cartilage, it really boosts the flavor. Now I'm gonna remove the backbone by cutting along the underside of the breasts. This is gonna make the chicken stable and easier to handle. I'm gonna be cutting through some cartilage and bones, so kitchen shears will really help. Now I'm gonna remove the breasts. Propping the chicken up like this helps you stay steady while you work. Start by stretching the skin over the top like this. Make a cut right down the center to expose the keel bone or breast bone. Follow the line of the wishbone and rib cage working at an angle. Now I'm gonna get the breast ready to cook. I'll pull out the tenderloins first. These are really great for kids' chicken fingers and they come off so easy. I'm just gonna remove some of the fat around the edges but I'll keep the skin on. And this is gonna keep the chicken really tender while it cooks. But if you wanna take the skin off after it's cooked, you can reduce the fat and the calories. There's so much chicken here that you can portion it out for multiple meals. To separate the drumstick and thigh, I'm just gonna pull them apart and make a slice along this line to cut through the joint. If you're not gonna use all your chicken up for one meal, you can freeze it for up to nine months. So the next time you're at the grocery store about to pick up a package of chicken breasts, grab a whole chicken instead. You won't regret it.